Is anybody surprised about what just happened? Nothing quite like the opening Sunday of the NFL season. Look at this Chargers defense. Again, the return of Derwin James. Such a huge story for Brandon Staley. The rookie breaking free. And what a start for this Chargers offense. Eckler in for the Chargers touchdown. Field, and it is broken up by Derwin James. He almost got that one. Sure He's going to be all over the field. Brandon Staley will use him in multiple different roles. And that's the way it's got to be around here. That's the way it's got to be around here. We go on the road, we expect to do what we just did. All right, but here's what happened in that game. You guys played as a team. How does this defense react? Gibson. That's that push. A team with more discipline, with more toughness. Herbert's pass is caught. To Eckler. Eckler through the line, breaks a tackle, trucks a second, still on his feet, Eckler all the way in. in the fourth quarter. We had to have it. We came together, we shut the door, right, and then we finished with the ball. Gibson hitting the right edge, nowhere to go. Ball on the ground. Who's got it? Chargers do. Incredible. All right, and that's what good teams do. They finish the game, and that was our goal coming in. Right. In the direction, end zone. And it is caught, Mike Williams! As the Los Angeles Chargers begin the Brandon Stanley era with a win on the road. My dream, right, has always been to give out one of these at the end of the game. I've been dreaming about it since I was a little kid. I think it's one of the best traditions in the NFL. My one guy, right, has been through a lot the last two years. We all know what our record is with Derwin James. We all know what our record is without the guy. We all know what he means. Without this guy, this whole movie's different. Game ball throwing James. There's no better feeling. I felt like that kid again, you know, playing the game that I love when I started playing four or five years old, you know, and getting that game ball, you know, it meant a lot to me. I told my girl that ball was for my son, the first one being back, you know, it was for him. Yeah, he don't really like have his own voice, his own laugh. Uh, this is Derwin, Alonzo James, the third. We call him Trey, T-R-E for Trey. He the third. And um, yeah, this is my girlfriend, Nakaya. You know, this is our son. Yeah, his facial expressions are his dad. And then he always over. passing gas like loud. Yes. So like, Definitely. that kind of reminds me of my, like, my son. like he'll just do it and start laughing. Like, yeah. and that's how I know like he kind of got my personality a little bit, <laughs> but a mix of both of us. So it's kind of like cool. Every day is not going to be perfect, but you know, you got to, you got to keep working, man. Every day you got to keep working, whether it's good or bad. You know, I don't like to say that I'm having a bad day because no day's a bad day, it's, you know, it's just a tough day. So, you know, every day you get an opportunity to do something great. So I just want him to, you know, have that same mindset. Derwin James, superstar safety. They had to fundamentally change the defense whenever he got hurt. A guy the Chargers very much would like to have on the football field. It looks like he's not going to be available this season. Man, I just feel bad for Derwin James. I really do. My family, my parents always taught me, you know, you're going to have, you're going to go through adversity. You know, it's, it's how you come back from it. It's how you get stronger from it. For a player like Duran who pours his heart and soul into the game and who loves the game, it's, it's hard. He shared with me his mindset on, on things that occurred in the past. It was never from a place of like frustration, um, like a, in a negative way, right? Or like, woe is me. It was always like, hey, you know, that's what occurred. We're moving forward. When you can let go of what occurred and be so focused and unwavering in your intentionality to get back to the field, he's got, I mean, it's cliche, everyone says it, but he's got that it factor. It's due now. It's due. By that time. It's due. 
And, you know, Keenan was a guy I leaned on kind of, you know, he was like, trust it, man, trust it. Keep doing everything you're doing. It's going to happen. Everything that didn't happen to you is out of your control. You know, it's non-contact, literally both of my energy. You know you're a dog, so I mean, ain't nothing going to change. So now when I'm back out there, I just I feel stronger, feel more stable. You know, and I just I just go go back to where it started, man, and just have fun with this game, man. Anybody that's ever been around Derwin, there's something so special about him. The aura, the energy, the true passion for football. Like, that guy loves football. I was four years old, I remember playing my first football in the yard, just playing around, and then all my parents put me in a straight tackle. And, you know, I had to learn, you know, that first year, I didn't really like the feeling of getting hit like that. So, you know, I made a promise to myself, you know, I will, I'll be the one hitting people. playing football at his, at his high school, Auburndale. He was a star player there, but the wrestling coach and the basketball coach were fighting for his services. Hey, this guy could be a state champion in wrestling just by the way he, he's built and how athletic he is. And the basketball coach won uh, for the right to have Derwin James as a freshman. Uh, and Derwin James had, had never played organized basketball until he became a freshman in high school. And he was brought up to the varsity team right away. his high school, they played him at three technique because the team was facing a fourth and one. Because all week on film, when they get to fourth and one or fourth and anything fourth and short, you know, with a fullback quick, fullback dive. And the game outcome hinges on a fourth and one, and Derwin James goes to his coach and says, Man, just, just put me at three tech. I'll, I'll beat the guard by the time they say hike. You know, I'll be back there to tackle him. And um, it ended up working. I executed it, and um, we ended up getting a stop that we needed. Like, that's Derwin James. Whatever play needs to be made, that guy's going to figure out how to make it. Heck yeah, it was always my dream to play in the NFL. I told my friends, I told everybody in the neighborhood, hey, one day I'm playing in the NFL, y'all gonna see me on TV. With the 17 in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Chargers select Derwin James, defensive back, Florida State. Literally, like, if you grew up with me, you knew I was, I, that was my goal, that was my dream, and, um, you know, I did everything I can to get here. You'd never understand how the draft works, but to see a guy like him drop, I bet you if you redrafted now, Derwin James would be a top five, if not top three pick, just because everybody saw it in that 2018 season. Kansas City game. You just see him off the edge, and they get a sack. He's caught from behind. Derwin James is everywhere. And I'm like, is that Melvin Ingram? Like, who is that? And then you look and you're like, oh, wow, it's Derwin James. And that was Patrick Mahomes' first game. He throws a bomb to Anthony Thomas. And Derwin comes up, just smacks it down. You're like, who was, like, was that Casey? Who? And then you look and it's Derwin James. So you're like, oh my God, maybe he's one of these players that can really do everything. This is a matchup game at its core. A guy like Derwin, you're like, like the matchup, like the matchup, like the matchup, like the matchup. And I think that's why you uh, see him all over the place. That play against the Rams week three, where he just reads where Goff is going with the ball, and he just jumps right in front of it and intercepts it. The rookie continues to impress. We had about seven or eight games that came down to the last drive or the last play. We said, in those moments, man, we need to be our best. We need to win those games. Going for 113 yards, and Ben throws it. By Derwin James. That's the 30. I always want to be in that big moment. I want the game in my hands. Quick throw to Kelsey. What a tremendous play by the rookie Derwin James. I mean, he's going to be short. What a great open field tackle. And to me, that is all pro on all pro. That year was special, man. We had a special group of guys. You know, for, for it to be my first year in the NFL, you know, it was pretty cool.
car, guys. Do I have to like look up at all or no? Big man. Hey man. What's up? Hey, did you see Amy and the kids? He's nice. They've been talking about Derwin James all morning now. She told me I'm looking for him. You ready to go? Oh yeah, I'm ready. You look ready. Good to see you, man. It's good to see you too, man. I've heard so much about you. I mean, I've you know, just people have been bragging about you ever since I got this thing, but the the call that was awesome is when Ramsey FaceTimed me. Yeah, that was cool. It was awesome. Just before you even start talking about our defense, how important he is to the entire team. When I got here, uh, he was at my my press conference, and there's just an energy that this guy has. There's like a, it's like a magnetic force that you feel um, that's rare. You know, I've been a lot, around a lot of amazing players. You know, Hall of Fame players, some of the best to ever play. When you meet Derwin James, you know that this guy's a really special person. Number one. The, the great thing is, is with, like all the things that you can do well, safety, money, star, mm -hmm. you know, we, that, and that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. And we can mix it and we can put you where we need to based off the matchup. Because you know. it's hard to look. You can keep the disguise. Like, I know. It, it, it makes the defense way better. There's no doubt. And then when they have to find you, what happened this year is them having to find where Jalen was going to be, mm -hmm. it helped AD. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to help Joey. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and, and when you can do that, you know, everybody benefits. Yeah, for sure, man. And then we can play team defense. I can't wait, man. Oh, he told me, man, he, he want me to be the front front wheel. He want me driving it, man. He said he want me in the front seat driving it, and he want me to just be myself. That's what he told me. He was like, I don't have to come out and try to be nothing that I am. He wanted me to come be myself, keep being the leader that I am, keep being the team player that I am. Hey, bring it up, bring it up. Hey, how it going to go? The new champ, y'all, we going to clap. Everybody going to clap it, clap it, clap it, clap it. Hey, on two, we going to say our way. On two, we going to say our way. One, two, oh, let's go, baby. Yes, sir. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's have a day now. Get your mind right. Get your mind right. Hey, let's go, man. Hey, everybody on the calls. Hey, man, I'm good, y'all. I'm good, y'all. Hey, fast to the ball. Let's go. You know, when you think of Derwin James, you think of a lot of gifts and all that, but the reason why people respect him so much is that he's just one of the guys, you know, and I think that um, what, what is not lost on people is that he does things the right way. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm taking the first crosser. Hey, I got JB, 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 JB. If three away, he can work it to the other side. So thanks, Weez, until he say I'm here. Yeah, yeah, right there. See how his eyes are on him the whole way? I can tell that Derwin's eyes were on him the whole time. Good, Derwin. There's rarely, if anybody, that's playing safety that's wearing the green dot. So that's really the player that he's going to trust and entrust the most responsibility on because Derwin can handle all that plus more. Derwin, you got me, babe? All right, here we go, baby. First time, brother. Huh? First of many. Huh? First of many. Let's go, baby. Hey, DJ, can you hear me? Thumbs up. Let's talk. Hey, let's talk. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Come on. Hey. Nothing more, nothing less. Be you, brother. Nothing more, nothing less. Be you. Hey, nothing more, nothing less. Be you, brother. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He means a lot to a lot of people in this building. And just his personality on the field, you know, affecting guys in the locker room, you know, he leads by example. He doesn't really have to say a whole lot because he goes out there every day with a business-like approach. And those young guys, they see it and it, it, it affects his, um, with everybody. Uh, when you have a guy like that already bought into the program. We know we already have somebody who's coach player already. He's a guy that they respect because they see how hard he works, how much he puts into it. I got the back. He can do it all. You know, you want to be one of the most precise route runners. He gets to go up against Keenan in practice. And you see he's able to run with that dude step for step. While being 6'3 and, and 200 plus, like it's, it doesn't, mathematically, logically, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, we'll, uh, you get me. You know what it look like? What? You ever play red light, yellow light, green light? Yeah, red, red light. light, green light. <laughs> green light. Because <laughs> that's how you read and react, though. Red light, green light, yeah, yellow that. light. <laughs> it's tempo, that's it. Cat and mouth. 
Yeah, to kind of put it in a simple point of view of what this means for Derwin James to defend Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen is possibly the best wide receiver in the NFL. And when you, when you talk about coverage and locking down the best wide receivers, uh, Keenan Allen will make your life difficult. So for him to line up next to one of the best wide receivers in Keenan Allen and for him to seek that out, you, you could tell Derwin James wants that challenge. <laughs> about ran through my face. It's literally two guys making themselves even better than what they are. But man, when you watch those matchups, it's like, it's like literally watching like a Marvel movie or something like everybody, it's quiet. You're just watching the matchup because you know something amazing is gonna happen. <laughs> You know, he plays safety, he plays star, he plays money, um, he could play corner, he can rush the passer, um, he can play everywhere on the field except for interior D line. You know, he's one of these few guys, you know, he's like a LeBron James where he can play, he can play anything. Since we might, let me go ahead and tell the people, you're not really strapping me though. I gotta <laughs> what do you up? mean? Nah, they gotta. They got pit bull grip. <laughs> I never seen that. I, ah! <laughs> I can't do nothing. <laughs> you can't do nothing. Uh -uh, I gotta just keep running and hope you let go. <laughs> no, I got too greedy. I went back for. Second. You just got aggressive, yeah. yeah. And then that's when you kind of separated uh -huh. a little bit from me. One thing I learned about Derwin James that he doesn't care, you know, if you're bigger than him, you've got a better size, or you've been playing the position longer. It's all about, you know, what you have, in, you know, in terms of, you know, will, determination, heart. When you have Kittle coming here, a bigger body who uh, abuses smaller guys to, that's on him, uh, and bigger guys, he puts them in space and you can't stay connected to him. And you have DJ who can just match you in the run game with the strength. He can get outside and cover you. It just makes it that much sweeter knowing that you gotta have a guy that versatility. He's just kind of a freak of nature. I, I want to compete every day, man. Whoever the best guy is, I want to go against him. So, you know, that's how I challenge myself. That's how I push myself every day. He looks like he looks every time he goes out there. He looks uh, in command, running the show out there for us and all that comes with that. It just reaffirms his confidence in himself. And he's starting to finish my sentences now. Um, that's what I love about him. It's like I've been doing this with him for 10 years. You could tell Brandon Saley Day one, when he got hired, when he spoke about Derwin, he spoke in a way of, I need this guy. Hey, all us together, let's go ball, man. Let's hey. And it's about that return that the fans have been waiting for, that the players have been waiting for. This is me, I'm Derwin James. I know you guys forgot, but I'm back. about two years since I've been in the real tailgate and it just feels great to be back. I'm really excited to see Derwin James lock it down out there, you know, Justin Herbert throw the ball. It's just an environment where all fans can come together and feel one. You want excitement? Come on in. This magnificent new stadium in Eaglewood. All right, ready? I got it. All right. Thank you, God, for this day, for getting us all here safely, bringing our families here. Keeping us all here. Thank you for allowing us to see another day to play this game we all love. Pray you watch over us, protect us, keep us safe. Let us play together. Let us be a team. Let us bring the energy. Hey, y'all know what we gotta do, man. It's all the Let's go, man. First one in there, man. Hey, all right, one on three, man. All right, one on three, one, two, two. Chargers in all whites today. White helmet, jersey, and out of reach. There's all kinds of energy. The enthusiasm is off the charts as the Cowboys are here. By the way, there are Charger fans 
bursting at the seams in the yes. stadium right now. I have never had more people ask me about the Chargers than they have in the last 12 months. There is definitely something different about this team now. Total focus. Total focus. Time now, three. Time now, three. One, two, three. Go, Daddy. Yeah, big boy. What you got for me, three, three? I got you. You know I'm bringing it out. I'm bringing toughness all day. You know it. Making their way out to midfield, though, Keenan Allen. And it looks like Derwin James is out there, DJ. Pretty darn good representation for the Bolts for the coin toss. Nobody looks better in their uniform than number 33. No doubt about it. The stadium is just a rare place. I mean, there's nothing really like it. I mean, closest thing, you know, Dallas, I was there, and um, this is probably the closest thing to that that I've seen. And I think for him, as a guy who enjoys the fans, enjoys the energy. This is kind of what everything's been building for. Playing before fans in their new home for the first time in a regular season game, and it will be run out by Pollard. And there's not much there. Well, Derwin says, let's come out and make this about us right away. They look to do that right now, Matt. Back under center, Zeke in the backfield. Handoff goes to Zeke. He is met in the hole and dropped at the line of scrimmage. Strength of the line is left. Come on, get That's him the back. way Zeke is back. running. And waiting for him in the hole was Drew Tranquil. Third and two for the Cowboys. Again, third down, but go with Elliott. Shows some speed to try to get outside, but there's speed on that other side waiting for him. And they do have speed on defense. Third and three, run the football. Third and two, run the football. And the Chargers with a huge stop. The Chargers defense is a team defense. That's what I want people to say, is that we play team defense. That we're a connected group, um, that we play the game the right way from a fundamental standpoint, that we all kill blocks, that we tackle at a high level, that we understand the value of takeaways, um, because that's the essence of football. And play action now. Dak, all kinds of time, middle of the field, intercepted! Go, 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 Asante! Go, Asante! By Asante Samuel Jr., the rookie, with his first pick. Hey, great job. Great job, man. Keep picking up the energy. Play, play, boy. There's a lot of weapons on this team. There's a lot of guys that the Chargers are going to need to focus on. Dak, looking down the middle, he goes again. Lamb cuts away from one player, and he sets up the Cowboys. They're an offense that can light you up really quick. And Elliott into the end zone, touchdown Cowboys. Oh, we knew this was a good Cowboy offense. They're, they're going to score points. You're going to probably have to get to 30 to win a football game against this offense. And the good news for the Chargers is they're plenty capable of doing that. Third and 11. Herbert dumps it off to Cook. Cook finds the yardage. 14 10, y'all. We good. They're going to be 14 10. We good. Quick throw, Mike Williams makes the first man miss. Toward the end zone, leaps. Touchdown, Chargers. Big Mike Williams. Let's go, get up, let's go, let's go. Pocket holds up, stands tall, throws downfield, has Keenan Allen, caught. Inbounds, right sideline to the Dallas, 26 yard line. Keenan Allen. The captain. So they get the big play of 42 yards from Herbert to Allen. And that at least allows them to tie this game up. And this thing is pounded straight through. And we are tied at 14. 12 plays, 61 yards. Make it 13 plays, 61 yards. 5 minutes, 33 seconds. Hey, let's get a stop. Let's get a stop. Let's get these guys turned up. Hey, are we turned up yet? Come on, 3 Hey, strike their ass, man. Come on. Let's strike their ass. They're they trying to run it up. Let's strike their ass. Hey, we're going to have to man up. Yeah. Hey, they're going to be okay. coming out here with confidence. Let's we can't feel sorry up. for ourselves. Let's, Let's go. Man up. We Let's can't go. feel sorry for ourselves because they don't. Because they don't. Let's go. 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 Let's
and uh, do the right thing. But when you see one of the leaders doing that and laying his body on the line over and over again, it just makes you have to kind of live up to that as well. Vizcaino kicks it away out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Cowboys will take over at the 25. Take the field. You like a negative play here from your defense on this drive. And they start with a handoff to Zeke. And Zeke breaks a tackle, gets out to the 32 for a gain of seven. Hey. They have just three men on the line of scrimmage. Back takes the snap. And the pocket holds up. And a great tackle by Derwin James. Plays deep and comes up and makes the tackle. Loss of four, Tony. Brings up a third and nine. Tony Pollard in the backfield. Back to throw. Pocket collapsing. Yeah. And that goes down. The first sack of the day. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. I think you see just the love of the game that he has and his energy. I think it's infectious and I think it, you know, it gets trickled down to the rest of the group. And there it is, tackle for a loss. Daniel Jeremiah was, was we were talking a little bit earlier and, and he had mentioned, you know, Junior Seau. You think about how special he was to the Chargers, you know, as a leader, as an emotional leader, as an emotional nucleus of the team. That's Derwin. First win, first down, bro. It's on us. I hope this makes sense, you know, for people out there that, that have families that get together at holidays. You know, you always have one favorite uncle or one favorite cousin, or there's somebody that brings you all together. That's Derwin. Der Derwin's that member of the family. When he walks in the room, your eyes are on him, you want to be around him. He makes everything better. Like I, like I said, I got so much love and passion for this game and just having those fans out there just, you see the 33 jerseys, you see the people screaming, man, it's just refreshing, man. It's just like, it's like life again. If you want to see more content like this, check out the link right here.